Hello, my fellow anti bottom fighters, and well, <coughs> sorry. Welcome back for more Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Now, last time we were this close, this freaking close to beating the boss endurance once and for all, but no, a stupid after credits mini game had to ruin it for everyone. Just show off. I'm mad. I'm I'm mad. Trust me, I'm mad. Who wouldn't be mad? That was cheap. That was a cheap shot. Uh, for those of you who don't got it and it's out of context, um, basically what happened was I lost to the after credits mini game. The after credits mini game was what I lost to. That thing that no one paid any attention to ended up being the only thing that stopped me from beating the boss endurance. Yeah, I'm not happy. Not happy. Oh, he got one shot off me. What is better than usual, considering my usual luck with this guy with hammer? Trust me, my usual luck with this guy's hammer is not good. Uh. Ah, he, he, he can get you when you're doing that? I didn't know. Oh! Ah! Well, my luck this time isn't good already. And that much I can say. Yeah, this is probably not gonna be my winning attempt. Boom! Get lost! Oh, okay. Scan corrected. This guy is going to be my winner. See, easy boss is easy. Uh, crackle. I'm taking a risk here. I I know I'm probably gonna die to him, but on the off chance that I don't, I save a Max and Tomato. That's that's basically the strategy for boss endurance. You got you gotta conserve your health, man. I mean, like the reason most people don't beat boss endurances is. Okay, let's think of this this way. The the Smash Brothers Boss Endurance All-Stars mode is actually based off Kirby. So think about it in there. Would you save your healing items or would you not? It depends on the boss. So do you think you can beat the next boss or not? <laughs> actually, it depends. I'm not sure which boss is hot, which boss is not. So it's a waiting game. It's all on whether you are confident or not. That's the thing with Kirby Boss Endurances and Smash Brothers. Are you confident? Are you not? I'm confident I'll beat these two. <laughs> I've raped these two with hammers so many times. That was admittedly kind of close. Boom. Ah, oh, again, crazy hand first. I swear, that, that's like some sort of running gag. It's like, I have some sort of grudge against crazy hand or something. Okay, what now? You ain't got nothing on me, Master Hand. <laughs> it's humorous that these are one of the easier bosses in the game. Mainly because they're actually ba based off a mid-boss. Master Hand is a mid-boss in this game, and basically this boss fight is basically just, uh... It's basically just two Master Hands. And that's not a tough boss fight at all. Once you get rid of one, the other goes down pretty dang quickly. Uh, with my luck with you, it's not that good, so... You know what? He's like a tougher paint roller. He's less predictable. Oh, oh, I did not know the car went there. Okay, well. Oh, you stupid reflector. Ah, hit, hit. That was wonderful. There we go. That's what I like to see. We're doing good. Okay, better fire. I scan correctly. Oh, I hate this guy with hammer, man.
I mean, you think he's gonna be easy, but he's not. That's basically me with hammer. Basically, I hate all area bosses with hammer. They're a lot tougher than they need to be. Eh, we're doing good, we're doing good. Oh, and I get hit by him after. That was not pleasant, game. Absolutely not. And the verdict says, I don't like your present. Battery. Mm, Boxy, you're nice. You're nice, Boxy, you're nice. My luck with mid bosses suck. It's like actual bosses are nothing compared to them. Ah, uh, Master Hand, again. You already know my opinions on him, I already said them. Well, he's humorously harder here than in Candy Constellation, so we got that going for him. I don't know why, psychologically I do worse at mid-bosses. I think it's because, um, well... Mid-bosses have that unfortunate tendency of, uh, well, you know... Staying alive after you kill them. Oh, and there's boss endurance number one, attempt done. Time for attempt number two. Again, I swear there are too many mid-bosses in this game. They were alive? Wow. You're strong, I'll give you that. Missiles. Oh, sparker, that ain't good. Uh, maybe I underestimated Spark a little bit, but Spark isn't that good of an ability. At least not for the boss endurance. Because like Hammer and everything, it is a close range ability. I'm still upset over that near loss. You, you have no idea how it feels. It's like, dude, I'm so close, I'm so close, I beat the final boss, and then he's like, no, nope, you forgot one phrase. One of my, um, six phrases. Get lost. Ah, oh, this guy sucks with Spark. It's humorous, but it's actually easier to beat the mid-bosses without an ability sometimes. I know what I'm titling this episode. Oh, that was... Too fast. Too fast, box boxer. I don't know why I'm playing so badly. I think it's because um I'm still upset over that near loss. Come on. Eh. Uh, I hate it when they do that. I hate it. It's like I'm gonna shoot a star at you and then. No, uh, nope, I'm gonna jump right over your enemy projector, shit. Sheep. Yeah, mid-bosses are wild cards. Sometimes you do well against them, sometimes they just kick your butt. It's been that way, even in Kirby Superstar Ultra's True Arena. Uh, I'll go with Fighter. Might as well. Make a Titan. Oh, uh, well, I'm screwed. humorous because the beam ability actually damages Mega Titan. It's one of like two abilities that does so. Yeah, beam ability. Who would have thought? Hmm. Boom! Haha! <laughs> Okay, let's see, what else? It's the same, you think you you think you got the boss down and then it's like, Nah, second phrase, you forgot my second phrase, jerk! 
second phrase. Second phrase. I hate multi-phrase bosses for this exact reason. It's like, you think you got them done and then nope. Nope, nope. You definitely don't got them done, son. They still got like, what? One more phrase? One more phrase? Parasaur or Mary Poppin Kirby. Uh, this is actually one of the better abilities for Gobbler, believe it or not. I say believe it or not because chances are no one will believe me. Mainly because it protects you from above. Which is more... Ah, there goes my Parasaur. I was just liking you, Parasaur. Why? These devil fish again. I swear, they cause me more damages than the boss sometimes. There! Two damage only! Thank goodness I healed then. Uh, well, no ability is gonna be good in Crackle, so, um. I know for a fact, burning sucks. Hmm, what now? Eh, uh, yeah, I'm fighting Crackle Melee. Chances are I'm not gonna beat the boss endurance this episode, but uh, you get to see some of the good old Konis fails. I mean, for the record, in Nightmare and Dreamland's boss endurance, when they were like gajillion less bosses and they were a gajillion less gimmicky, it still took me a. What's it called? It still took me. Seven bonus parts before I could beat it. And that was with like seven to eight bosses. Of which, none of them were really that tough. At set, Meta Knight. Meta Knight gets an honorable mention for kicking my butt so many times. Again and again. Wow, Tornado aim sucks. I mean, hit Crackle already. Jeez. Yeah, as I said before in part 2, Tornado is a luck-based ability. And more often than not, luck is never on my side. Gee! What is this luck hack, Crackle? How are you dodging all my perfect tornado swirls? At this rate, it'll be better to just shoot him. Ah! Well, gee, he, he's sweeping around the screen a lot. There we go. All, all Kirby bosses have a somewhat predictable pattern. It's just a matter of finding that pattern, really. Uh, well, nothing's gonna be really good against the two of you. Uh, Cupid Kirby. Well, that did nothing. Ah, uh, this is the, like the first time I'm, go I'm facing these two without an ability. Yeah, without an ability, these two are actually brutal. In fact, I'll recommend this. Get rid of one of them first. I don't care which one. Just get rid of one of them. Because if you have to fight the two of them, that's when it gets brutal. <laughs> Okay, the moment there's only one down, they revert back to their mid-boss pattern, and that is the predictable one. Wow, <laughs> this is the first time I tried attacking Master Hand. Why well, I hit Crazy Hand like every other time. And this. It's too bad anyone who's played Smash Bros. know their pattern. Even I... I've never played Smash Bros. and even I know their pattern because... Well, because he's based off Wham Bam Rock and Kirby Superstar, but that's for another day. That's a story for another day. Ah! Cheap shot! I call hacks! 
if I die to him again, I mean, I died to Master Hand earlier in the episode. What do you know? This this boss endurance bonus part could have just lasted like what? Four episodes, but no! Blame the after credits minigame! Blame that! Oh. Well, well, well. Master Hand wants revenge, doesn't he? And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, do feel free to leave a like or be an anti bottom fighter and subscribe. Next time, we're gonna try to beat the boss endurance without any after minigame hacks. Uh, see you guys.